late. I've replaced you with this balloon. I'm a minute and a half late. That's all right, come on. You're not going anywhere, balloon. Well, you may die later, but okay, finally you're here. Because today we're gonna be talking about high kappa. High kappas, high kappa parts, custom. It's a kappa day, okay? Why are they Why are they even called high kappas, okay? I don't even know, but we'll find out today, maybe. And then we'll go check out the cool custom inventory, go check out all the different cool high kappa stuff, and then go shoot some things and make high kappas explode. Because we all know high kappa is the new thing. You can fully cut, it's not the new thing, it's the old thing, but you can highly customize them. That's why everyone wants them. They shoot really good, and Tokyo Marie's the best at them. So let's go take a look at some custom ones first to get you excited on why you should want maybe a high kappa. Right, we're gonna open this up. All right, we have to put her down. Stay there. Stay there. Cool. All right, so high cap. First off, tons of the best ones out there. Um, what what makes a high cap? Let's do it. It's a 1911 with like a double stack mag for the most part. Okay, so you get people like them because you can with the double stack mag get about anywhere between 28 and 35 BBs per mag. Awesome, large capacity mags. Most, not all are going to be green gas. Some are gonna be CO2, but the ones that are CO2 are built to take CO2, because CO2 is just a bigger, higher power gas. But if you want better efficiency and better performance, then we always recommend green gas. So you can get your basics. We'll show in a little bit here, we're gonna show you a review of kind of like the basics of high kappas, you know, basic parts, everything like that. But I'm gonna get into some of the customs, because that's the best thing about high kappas, all the custom pieces. We got this cool, just red one. Um, it may look basic, but inside is fully upgraded with pistons, in, um, blowback housing, cool custom threaded outer barrel, everything that you see here. Um, they also, also, which is really cool, this one has like a, let me take this one back, like a cool like kind of cut out CNC slide so you can see the cool barrel. And then you have sums that are sums, some that are, you know, just done up real cool. This one's our Jade Dragon. So this one actually looks cool with the gold match base and then some green accents from Airsoft Masterpiece, graded internals in there. Put that back gently. And then what else? Oh, let's do, let's look at some 4.3 load. So in case you don't know, most high kappas, the ones you normally see are 5.1. Um, they do make a 4.3 variant. Rare are the seven inch variants uh, and the 3.8, but the main two are five ones and four threes. So this is one that we did here with the uh, silver, black, and the uh, blue accent fully upgraded. Now, why do people go over a 4.3 over a 5.1? One? one is compactness. Um, you do have a shorter barrel, so your FPS is not gonna be as high, but some people like that kind of firm feel of a 4.3 over 5.1, knowing that they can just pull up really easy and not get it caught up on anything like your jewelry when you're playing, you know, airsoft. This would be Favor Flav's length of choice, so it wouldn't get caught in his clock. So um, we do have these. And the great thing here at Mir Tactical is that we have high kappas of all different price ranges. So you can get the Tokyo Marui bases like we have down here, which you can build up, or you can get the clones. All right, so let's look at a clone of a Tokyo Marui high kappa. Let's take this one. Let's take the Terran Tactical one. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So clones are made by a bunch of different companies. They're still high kappas because they have a 19, this one's by Valken. A 1911 style with a fat mag. This one happens to be CO2. Now, when it comes to the clones, a lot of times the custom pieces that you saw with those Tokyo Maruis, um, they aren't a Tokyo Marui spec. So just because you buy an Airsoft Masterpiece or some aftermarket cow cow accessories or anything like that, doesn't mean that they'll fit the clones as well. So you always wanna take a look and ask, hey, does this, would this fit, you know, these parts, would they fit? Now the one thing on these clones that usually doesn't fit is either the slides or the actual blowback housings in here might be different. Triggers are pretty standard, mag walls are pretty standard, but some of the internals that are held in these slide components are typically slightly off. So aftermarket slides might not work without some modification. But if you don't think about upgrading in the future, I mean, a lot of people do, these are just really good you know, just really good pistols to have. And being a high kappa, there are a bunch of uh, serviceable parts with that. So if something does break in the future. Well, let's go to our full range of accessories. Um, now that you've seen the guns and now that you've seen the clones, let's go to the full range of accessories. So as you see, a ton of external parts. The great thing about high kappa, you can change pretty much anything you want with any color you want. Purples, pinks, oranges, greens, gold, blacks, everything. But then you're saying to yourself, well, the main component, okay. 
So if you get a Tokyo Marui, the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to replace is the slide. Cause over time, um, Tokyo Maruis are made for dust or gas. You use green gas or propane, that slide is gonna crack cause the Tokyo Marui slide is plastic. So one of the first things people do is transplant all the guts of the Tokyo Marui into one of these custom slides. Now it's really cool with slides, especially Airsoft Masterpiece slides, is that you can get something like cut out or you can get something like right there that's kind of basic, right? So you just get a little color accent or anything like that. And then if you wanna really spice it up, people get custom barrels. Stock Tokyo Maruis do not have threaded barrels. So Airsoft Masterpiece has threaded barrels here in different colors. Or what we have is some of these Lancer Tactical Twist Barrels, because everyone thinks that the Twist Barrels are extra light, so it makes your gun shoot faster, but we have some of those as well. And that'll allow you to put a tracer unit like you probably saw in the Ace Tech video, throw one of those on your Airsoft replica. One of the things we always recommend though, is don't put a mock suppressor on any pistol. It's too heavy because it'll tilt the barrel down, causing it potentially to wear down faster and or not shoot. All right, take a breath. How's she doing? She's staying? Feeling good, she's feeling good. She's all excited about, um, she gave me the thumb, she's looking at you right now, she's giving you the thumbs up because you should buy high kappa. It's okay, creme de la creme. Let's talk about high end high kappas. So those are pretty high end you saw earlier. And these are ground up full builds from Airsoft Masterpiece, meaning that they're based off Tokyo Maru spec, but nothing is Tokyo Maru, they're ground up. I'm sure where I put the key. There you go, all right, unlock. Let's look at my Iron Man one. So this one specifically is a um, full Airsoft Masterpiece build, Airsoft Masterpiece backstrap, safeties, uh, slide, grip, magwell, slide, barrel, everything. A little cool fur hammer in the back, really cool. These things are really, if you guys like precise and want it the best of the best, even though Tokyo Marui's are great bases to build off of, the way these Airsoft Masterpiece are built, they're all kind of like batched in a way, meaning that they're hand put together and really, really, really. So let's go to the review real quick. We'll take a sidestep before we go out and shoot these of the review of all the different high kappas that we have here at Mir Tactical, at least some of them, not all of them, some of them here at Mir Tactical. For the person that has everything, you want more, you need more. And here at Mir Tactical, we're here to help you out. We just got in a whole new line of high kappas and high kappa accessories. Starting off with the Tokyo Marui, Gold Match, the Extreme 45, the DOR, the 4.3, the 5.1, and the 5.1 Stainless. To customize these awesome high capos, we have a bunch of different accessories from Cow Cow and Airsoft Masterpiece. We have steel guide rods, outer barrels, ton of different magwell styles, hammer assemblies, both one piece and two piece triggers, beaver tail assemblies, slide releases, and then, when you've pimped out the exterior of your high kappa, we have all the interior upgrades for this thing to shoot crisp, excellent. We have blowback housings, we have nozzles, we have hop-up units, buckings, barrels, and a ton more internal accessories so that high kappa can shoot through the mouth. So now that you've taken and pimped out the externals, you've changed every single internal piece so that your BBs fly over the mountains, you're asking yourself, what more could I want? What more could I need? Well, most likely you're gonna be at a field with a bunch of five-year-olds that aren't gonna call their hits. So we have drum mags for you, make them call their hits. You can find all these high kappas, all these accessories, and these sweet drum mags at Mirror Tactical. Oh, we're back. So the cool thing that we're gonna do now, hopefully you enjoyed that review, is that we're gonna go outside and shoot some things with these two customs, the 5.1 and the 4.3 high kappa, to show you if you're not convinced already on why you need a high kappa in your life, especially custom high kappa. Let's go take my assistant and go shoot these bad boys. I feel replaced by a pink balloon. Why do you feel like you're replaced? You are replaced. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's like, fair. yeah, I mean. That's fair. Right, let me go get a match. <laughs> you told me he replaced me for a balloon. So am I authorized? <laughs> I'm authorized. The balloon Don't didn't replace me. All right, uh, let's go get some tape. Why do we need some tape? The tape might replace it to the wall and shoot it. No, no, you just don't. You're, you're out. You don't know. Unbelievable. All right, just stay here. For a second. You'll get to see that. Is this man serious? What am I supposed to do? Twiddle my thumbs? All right, you have permission. 
come see the awesomeness. It's cold. There's BBs in it. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch oh, out. Oh, I know. BBs. I BBs know there. You don't. Uh, you don't think the tech knows better? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got these awesome uh, things. I got my assistant over there ready to have some fun. Let's go break some things. We got our 5.1 Iron Man right here, and we got our 4.3 limit. Is that glass for a shoot? No, it's light bulbs, okay? Oh, yeah, that one's crisp. That one's crisp. All right, let's shoot. <gasps> Shot my assistant. Let's go see how she's doing. She's dead. She's dead and I don't feel bad as... You know what? I think you got a new job. You're hired. I am? Well, you're hired back for now until I can find someone better. Okay, that's a deal. All right. So remember, I should you own a high kappa because they're the coolest things in the world. And they pop balloons and they let you break light bulbs. Remember to shop your tactical like and subscribe and buy your next high kappa or high kappa pieces or high kappa anything at Mere Tactical. And make sure you get use your sights, because or else you don't hit anything. Should you buy an airsoft tracer unit from Ace? Ah, uh, yeah, it's RGB heaven.